Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. How are you? It is Lori, and I am back, and I'm here to do a general reading for you. I've already done a you and them reading. Um, fantastic reading. Unfortunately, I can't upload right now. I still don't have internet service, so hopefully this will come out. Um, probably won't be tomorrow because they're not coming until, well, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to put them out late. Anyways, whenever I get my internet after 2 o'clock tomorrow, I will start uploading and I'm not going to stop until you have all the readings. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and roll the Zodiac die. Thank you for all your patience, by the way. Libra, whoop, whoop. Love you guys. I've missed you. Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Cancer. All right, let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is for this reading. We have the Seven of Wands. That's funny. That was big in your um, you and them reading, too. Something about boundaries. Okay. And then you've got Eight of Wands. You had that in that reading, too. Ace of Cups. Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Double sixes here. You're waking up to your um, intuition, your higher power. You're starting to listen. Queen of Cups, or maybe you're just hearing the message. I think you've been hearing the synchronicities or seeing those. You just haven't been able to understand the messages. Queen of Cups to the Four of Wands. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. What a, I mean, true pair right here. King and Queen of Swords, okay? All Libra energy, too. Air energy here. Awesome. Okay. And that includes anybody. Crosswatchers, channel fans, I don't care who you are. If it resonates with you, accept it, okay? On the bottom of the deck, you have the Magician. You have the Three of Wands, Star Card, Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands. You were doing something new here. I'm hearing planning a party, something, or a big event, maybe at work, hope for the future, building for the future, making some miracles happen here. Beautiful energy. Okay, so starting this off right now, you've got the seven of wands. You've got some sort of, um, you're standing up for something or you're leading the way. I'm getting more leading the way here. You... Um, you're fired up about a cause, a purpose, a desire, something that you want to see happen. Beautiful energy here. I'm also hearing, though, that you understand your limits in this situation, not to overextend yourself. Oh, yeah, you're fired up. You are fired up. And, and for some of you, it's going to be in a very good way. And actually, for everybody, it's in a very good way that you're fired up. Because what happens is, is you, you take action, okay? You take action. You communicate, but you take action. And this is actually going to um, be better for you in the long run. It's going to fix a problem here. All right, so you have the Eight of Wands next, right after that Seven of Wands. And see, I said you were taking action, but you're communicating clearly, clearly communicating or walking away, okay? Like, I'm, I'm again, that came up in uh, your other reading there, an ultimatum of uh, we need a fresh start here, okay? So you may be communicating that per to somebody. Could be your true match here. Ace of Cups, so the Ace of Cups is below the Eight of Wands, so you're communicating and you're looking for that fresh start. You're looking for unity, harmony. You're, I'm also hearing that with this deck of cards, I, I read each deck intuitively, and each deck is different for a reason. So the artist here is portraying a crow dropping a pentacle into that Ace of Cups. And what I'm hearing is you would like to have a fresh new building or beginning building on a solid foundation. Okay, you're waiting for word that this is going to happen. Crows are harbingers of or messengers or harbingers of news. Okay, so you are 
putting the word out and now you're waiting here. Six of Cups over the Six of Wands. I'm hearing a couple of different things here. Um, I'm hearing somebody from the past, somebody that you have spent a long time with. And this does not mean that they're not in your life right now. I'm, I have a very strong uh, message from Spirit that this person, you have spent a long time with them. Years and years and years. Some of you may have known them from your childhood. Okay. Others of you, this is just somebody that you've been with for maybe a couple of years. Okay. You know them pretty well. With a six of wands, it feels good. It looks like the fresh start is coming in here. I am getting a sense of peace, of, of satisfaction, um, security, childlike security. Like you didn't worry about robbers and thieves or cutthroat co-workers or backstabbing friends when you were that little, okay? Everything was good. The universe was good. And look, you're successful here with a six of wands. It, you, whatever's happening, and I do feel that it's you coming together with your person. Now, this could be somebody at work, family member. I am getting, though, that this is definitely a romantic couple, soulmate couple here, power couple, very intelligent couple. Um, I'm getting educators, but it can be anybody. Okay. So however it resonates, then you have here the queen of cups, satisfaction, emotional satisfaction, peace of mind. Even when things are not going right, you're just going with the flow. You're releasing the emotions that may be pent up inside of you. And here we have the four of wands meeting your goal, achieving your goal. Happy home, happy life. I do, again, get a wedding out of this. I, I, if it's not a wedding in the romantic sense, then it is definitely some sort of um, wedding, bringing together of two things that's going to be very, very um, beneficial. Beneficial. It's a smart choice is what I keep hearing. Smart choice, Okay. And you're not making it by yourself. You've got this other person. But it could very well be a, um, a romantic uh, commitment here. A wedding. An actual wedding. So if you were hoping for that, it looks like that may happen. If you can just maintain your personal peace and go with the flow. Yeah. Looks, I mean, it sounds really good. Looks really good here. You've got the King of Swords over the Queen of Swords. And she is, look, I mean, look at this. He's up here and she's down here. And it looks like she's looking up towards uh, the Queen of Cups here and him, like raising her head up to listen, to pay attention, to receive word. There's the crow, okay, that was here. It's in this card now. And the King of Swords has a white owl on his throne. And a book opened here. I I am definitely getting um, a smart move. Whatever decision you're making, it's a smart move. There's loyalty here. I really do get that you're, you've been with this person for a long time. And like I said, it could be romantic. It could be friendship. It could be uh, a, a work relation. It could be a career, okay? But you have been in this energy for a very long time. And now you've got this return to the sense of wonder and awe and happiness and security and peace by being with this person. And I think it's coming after an argument. I, I really do feel like there was an argument in the uh, you and them reading. And that's coming through here too for a lot of you. That's what you're kind of communicating here. Let's take another look at the past energies. You were working on something. Trying to heal here. Putting the effort in. That card That card came out. The Three of Wands came out. The Magician came out. The Queen of Wands came out twice in that reading. The Devil came out. All this is the same stuff from that you and them. So if you have not seen that, it was 36 minutes and 56 seconds. All right. Hopefully it won't add any time to it. But yeah, it looks like, and see, we've got the a Hierophant here, a, a marriage, a commitment, and the king of, or, oh, that's the emperor. So it could be a boss, five of swords. Justice, there you are. 
Okay, so something happened here between you and whatever person this is, whichever person this is. Got the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Inviting that truth and brooking no lies. That's what I just heard. All right, clarifying the Eight of Wands. Two cards just shot across the room, the Empress and the Moon, and she did show up in, the, another re, in your other reading too. Eight of Wands, I'm hearing like you're, you're saying, you know what, I'm, I know who I am. I know what I'm worth. You've got some answers you've got to give me here. I want a clear path to follow. Wow, that's what you're asking for here in this Eight of Wands conversation. You're ready to move on. You're ready to walk, sail away from this. You're feeling like this, whatever it is, is just too stressful. You are looking for calmer waters. And I'm getting, because of the Six of Swords, clarity, answers. All right, we've got the Knight of Cups. Clarifying the Ace of Cups here. Knight of Cups is always about self-love first. So I'm hearing you want to, you, <laughs> some of you may be saying, I'm going to take my cup elsewhere, or I'm going to focus on just me, or we have a fresh start here. I, I'm getting that somebody, I, your person, it could be you, but I'm getting that your person may be coming to you and saying, you know, what do I need to do? How do we get this fresh start? Strength, courage, confidence, a little bravery, okay? Admitting the truth, I hear. Six of Cups. Let's go ahead and clarify this. Can we please clarify the Six of Cups energy here? Eight of Pentacles. And that's funny, it's in the same position. Um, putting in the effort, okay? And the effort is paying off is what I'm hearing here. Beautiful clarification. There's that brand new Ace of Pentacles being divinely offered to you. Being offered to you. So you put the word out there that that's what you wanted. You're receiving it. Nine Pentacles, okay? That's being able to do whatever you want. Financial freedom, security. Let's look at the Six of Wands here. So your hard work is paying off, it looks like. And again, I'm hearing you're mastering a skill. You're mastering a situation. You're coming out better for it. You, maybe you've been working on how to communicate. Some of you, I think, may have been working on how to communicate so that you don't end up in the Ten of Swords. Look at that. So you can don't end up in the Ten of Swords, which was showing on the bottom of the deck. And now the Six of Swords is showing again. That's Sixes again. You are waking up to your spiritual um, your truths here, who you are, what you want, and you're seeing how to accomplish exactly what you're looking for, a more peaceful future. All right, let's clarify the Six of Wands here, please. Victory, success, yay. And that's funny because that showed up in your other reading too, the you and them. It's amazing how many cards showed up in there that are right here right now. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Wands, please, Spirit. I lost my uh, Your Empress Energy uh, placard like this. This is my other channel for anyone who does not know. I've just started it. Um, it's for all signs, Elemental Tarot. If you'd like to go check that out, that would be awesome. Okay, I'm not getting anything here with the Six of Wands. What's going on, Spirit? Two more shuffles, please. Hmm. And now we get a bunch of cards. <laughs> We're only going to take the one that was face up, though. Ace of Wands. Seven of Wands. I'm hearing overcoming a difficult task, um, success after a, a challenge, okay? And I'm hearing, again, divinely guided, inspired. This is something you're passionate about. And look, 
It's matching energies here. Matching energies with the King and Queen of Swords. Passionate new beginning. A new focus, a new direction. And this card came out in your, you and them reading too. Two of Cups. In alignment. Peaceful and happy relationships. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's clarify this Queen of Cups. Yeah, a lot of confusion, but in the midst of the chaos, you're choosing peace. You're choosing serenity. You're choosing to leave the regrets behind. You're seeing things instead of as challenges, you're seeing them as opportunities here too. Yeah, you're confused. You do have questions, but you're all right. You're okay. Let's clarify this Four of Wands here. Yes, don't forget, I'm going to do my routine here. Go ahead and tickle tap or boop, B-O-O-P, the like button if this message is resonating with you. Or if you just want to support me, my channel, or just the message in general, I, you know, it would be appreciated. Uh, go ahead and claim this in the comments if it is your message. And of course, check out the description box if you would like a personal reading from me. Email me and I will send you all the details, okay? And then you can decide what you want to do. All right, and of course, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We have an awesome community here and we would love to have you join us. Look at this. Four of Wands is being clarified by the World card. Success. Success. That's what the Four of Wands is. Meeting your goals. Achieving your goals. Being in alignment with yourself and those around you. You're closing out a cycle. Starting a brand new one. Again, I'm getting wedding, marriage, commitment. Um, woo, woo, yeah. The blinders are off is what I just heard. You're no longer sitting back and just taking things as they are. You're moving forward. This is awesome. This is a beautiful message for you. Let's clarify the King, and, King of Swords. What have we got going on here? What more can you tell us about the King of Swords, Spirit? Boy, I have not felt this drained. <laughs> I mean, I'm physically moving my house by myself. I did. I have to pause. I was able to hire a person, one person, okay? He thought that he would be able to uh, have someone help him, but he didn't. He moved all my big bulky furniture by himself. I helped the least little bit. I have never seen a human being work the way that this person did and smart. He was an Aquarius, very smart, very caring, very helpful person. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> What do they say? Heal thyself, doctor. Okay, I started to get frazzled at one point, And I just needed somebody to talk to. I, I mean, I was like literally freaking out. And uh, he, he reached out at that perfect moment to clarify when we were getting together. And he heard it in my voice. And he was like, you got this. One little step at a time. You've got this, Laura. You're doing great. I could not believe he was giving me all the words that I give to you guys, you know, when you need encouragement. It was perfect. And I, I adore this person. His wife is lovely. He's got kids I haven't met yet. But, oh, my gosh, I, I could not have done what has happened here without him. And I am so stress-free now because of his help. So I have to put that out there. Anthony, thank you so much for everything that you did. And no, I, I did pay him. Yes, I did pay him. All right, look at this. We got the ch chariot clarifying the king of swords. King of swords is being clarified. So I'm getting that this is your energy and you have made your determination that you are going to move forward into the future. You're not looking backwards. You're closing out that door. Some of you may be moving in with your person or may be moving for a job, a career, whatever this is, whatever this commitment is, you're moving forward. And that came out in the pre-shuffle, the temperance card. There is some sort of magic happening here. I, I'm definitely divine timing, um, divine guidance, offerings here. You, you are being like nudged, I'm hearing to confront 
the situation in whatever manner you need to other than violently. I'm hearing you, you're leading the way, you're taking charge, you're standing up for what you want. Okay, you're not being, you're not backing down, but you're not being violent or anything else. Okay, you're just stating it exactly like, hey, this is what it is. I love you. I want to know what we're doing here. Okay, I know it may or may not be that, um, those words, but it's that gist. Okay, see, you're speaking up. You're speaking up for yourself. Look, that almost echoes it other than this feels like action. And this one's the one sitting back. Oh, look, and the Three of Swords is in reverse. That is awesome. And I see the Sun card, which came out in your other reading, and the Lovers. I'm not going there. This is awesome. This is awesome. This, I mean, this reading is beautiful. Whatever situation you are in, the resolution from this is amazing. But it will not happen if you do not take charge and state clearly communicate what it is you need that's what this is all about that's where it all begins all right who queen of swords so i start to tell you I'm, I'm drained from doing these two readings already i'm ready for a nap <laughs> oh my goodness just two readings and I do have my wind chimes, but they're not anywhere I can reach them right now. Um, I will take care of that. We will have the chimes back. Or maybe even something else. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Lots of, lots of uh, cards there. But there was the Knight of Pentacles that just, your, your Knight has arrived. Okay, however you want to take that, your Knight has arrived. Things are finally coming in. The proposal, the commitment, the being on the same page. Let's see what we've got here. Queen of Swords, please, Spirit. I know. I'm so tired. Spirit told me I should have taken those cards. There we go. Nine of Wands. This card came out in your other reading, too. It's amazing. You're not giving up. You never gave up. You never gave in. You stood firm. You were rock solid. You may have been a little stubborn, um, which turned out to be in your favor, okay? You didn't back down. You stood up for what you wanted. There's your fresh new start. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful message there. Let's get you some Oracle messages. What should we do today? Oh, Spirit saying an animal message here. Okay. I'm hearing uh, romance angels. But there's something here in the uh, animal spirit. Let's see what we got. Raccoon, inventor. <laughs> you can't do this until you decide what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. That means you have the smarts to claim it. Oh, avoid being the trickster and just practice your integrity. Okay, both the King of Swords and Queen of Swords uh, stand for integrity. You have many roles and you juggle all of them well. Beautiful message there. That was meant to come out. Let's get you. No? Okay. Spirit's saying there's something else here for you. Is my camera crooked? I will work on lighting. I'm still setting up house. I've got tons of bins out in the garage that have to be uh, unpacked. All right. Let's get another message here. Dolphin, have some fun. I think Spirit's telling me to do that. Go have some fun. <laughs> I could use it. Mm. Dolphin, play. Swim in the happy joy of living. When you inhale, inhale confidence. When you exhale, exhale all your fears. Dive deep into your wisdom, the king and queen of swords, and go with the flow which is the Queen of Cups. Have fun. Enjoy. 
let it release the tension release it meditate i'm hearing some some of us need to meditate okay we're going to get you okay i was i was trying to find the uh romance angels spirit saying no 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 we don't need no romance angels this is not all about a romance this is for some of you but it's not only about romance so an internal crystal oracle message here for you tourmaline smudging card 40 root chakra getting back to your roots i'm hearing the raccoons are hanging out in a tree and i'm hearing something about your roots getting back to the root of the relationship oops okay thank you Dioptase, direction, oh yeah, card 15 or a 6, another 6. If you add these two cards together, that's a 10. That's you putting a burden down. And look at this. These are dark and these are bluish green, like turquoisey. They both have the same colors. But this is about you connecting to your deeper roots here. We're going to look at uh, quickly 40 here. I have missed you guys so, so much. You have no idea. I love all your comments. I don't have internet yet, so I'm just recording, and I'm going to upload these as I can. Um, tourmaline, okay, says to cleanse yourself. Focus on getting rid of any old stagnant or negative energy from both your physical body and your home and or work environment. To cleanse your energy and an... Um, to cleanse your energy and environment, you can use a Native American smudge stick and incense stick, aromatherapy oils, spritzers, holy water, or even just hold a very strong intention to clear the energy. It doesn't matter which tool you choose to smudge or clear your energy with, the most important thing is for you to strongly and positively affirm, I ask for all negativity to be removed. I am clear and clean, and so is this space. I am surrounded by a pure white light and nothing but positive energy. Then feel yourself pushing through any heavy energies. Okay, just push it aside. See yourself full of bright white light or a soft, soothing white light, whatever works best for you. Tourmaline will help you to release stress from your body and your mind. Again, I'm getting um, meditation here, please. It reminds you to try to remain positive no matter what the circumstances are in your life. There is always a silver lining to each cloud. And boy, I'll tell you, if you can just pause, just pause when something seems to be going crazy and you're feeling stressed. And even if you just hear somebody who told you in the past, hey, it's good, it's all good, you're good that can help to take you out of the energy and put you more into a more positive one. All right, compassion and tolerance for yourself and others may be required at this time. Open yourself up to giving and receiving love equally. Surround yourself with positive people that help to keep your energy uplifted. And if you can't be around them, remember the good energy of those people. Tourmaline is associated with your root chakra, but I'm hearing again, it's a connection, that deep-rooted connection. All right, let's look at card 15. It opened right up to it. I'll show you quickly. Are you feeling stuck in a rut? Not sure which way you should turn? Do you need some help with deciding which direction you might take? Dioptase is here today to help you weigh up your options and help you to choose a direction to follow. The energy of this stone will help you become clearer about what you want to achieve. You might feel like you've been wasting time wandering aimlessly about or not getting anywhere in this relationship. That time of confusion and stagnation is now over and it is making way for a great period of a period of great focus and achievement. Yeah, you're choosing to move forward, okay? That's how the chariot moves, too. All right, so let's see. 
Trust in the universe as you follow your dreams. Release your need to control any outcomes. Diaptase is associated with your heart chakra. It facilitates work on your inner child and relationships, and it helps to heal your heart so that you can make some true progress. What a beautiful message there for you. Spirit wants to give you a Witchling's Book of Spells. I keep hearing energy card. Energy. I don't know why. Energy. Energy card. Communication. I mean, that's what this is all about. You've got the Eight of Wands. Communication. It says effective communication will build a deep bond that is grounded in common trust and understanding. So that's your important aspect. Cleansing. Energy cleansing creates a healthy and harmonious space in which to thrive. That was right there. Cleansing. Let's see what else we've got. That one took a twist and turn. Enthusiasm. Life is always brighter when you wake up each day with the spirit of enthusiasm. Is that not energy? That's, I would say that's energy. Yeah. All right. You've got some inspiration going there. I am going to call this done. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I've missed my lovely, lovely Libras, Crosswatcher, Channel fans. All of you guys are awesome. I'm so happy to be back. I appreciate everything that you have done, but don't forget to tickle, tap, or boop today, okay? The like button there. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment. Claim this. Do you know what's happening here? Is this you? Are you? Did you just receive a, a marriage proposal? Are you hoping to? Did you just give somebody an ultimatum? Drop me a comment. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Also, if you would like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box or on the about page, okay? Email me a request for information and I will send it to you and then you get to decide what you want to do. I will have more and more readings of open as of next week. So if I don't get you in right away, um, if you can hold off, then uh, just get your name in there. The sooner you're in, the sooner I'll be able to get to you. All right, I love each and every one of you to pieces. Please take care.